So with this example here, we're taking the absolute value of log base 5 of x equaling 2, and we want to solve for x here. So taking a look here, we have a graph here of log base 5 of x. You can see here that your logarithmic function does go positive and negative. So by definition, the absolute value of the log base 5 of x takes on two values. Either it's going to output itself when x is greater than or equal to 1, that'll represent this area here, or when x is below the x-axis, i.e. negative, that'll be between 0 and 1, it'll output negative log 5x. So you'll see here this generates two cases. Case 1 is log base 5 of x is 2, and the other case is negative log base 5 of x is 2. Again, as soon as you're solving a logarithmic equation, go to exponential, in which case we get x is 25. Or in this case here, before I go to exponential, I have to multiply across by minus 1, and then we have x equals 5 to the negative 2. So the solution set for this question is 25 or 1 over 25.